Hi everybody, hope you had a wonderful Halloween. Um, <laughs> I can't say I exactly had a wonderful Halloween. Um, that's because it snowed Saturday night and then the power went out until late last night. Um, the problem is, is that in New York, um, especially where I live, there are tons of trees with lots and lots and lots of leaves on them right now. And they're all along the roads and that's where they have the power lines. And once it starts snowing, then the branches get extra heavy because of those leaves. And then the branches start to snap. So now there are huge brands, branches and like logs almost like they're that big they're huge just in the road and everywhere and they took down power lines like there are lines just hanging around um for anyone to touch and get electrocuted and probably croak um so it's pretty dangerous and lots of towns were out for an extended period of time but i'm fortunate enough to get my power back on last night um, after I had the longest drive of my life, it was supposed to be a 15 minute drive, but it took me like an hour to get to my friend's house, um, Tomato, I'm sure you've heard of him, um, cause I was gonna take a shower at his house, cause I was really dirty, <laughs> cause it was just no power, no water, it was freezing, it was awful, but he was so nice, he was gonna let me take a shower at his house, um, and then like, after I left, the power came back on. It's like, oh, darn it. But whatever. I took a shower there, and we had a good time. We played some video games, and we got pizza. So it was a happy fun time. Uh, but during the power outage, I decided to draw a game character, and I was thinking of one simple enough that I could get the outfit right um, without having a reference, because I didn't have the internet, didn't have books. Usually I have guidebooks, but they're all Nintendo related. I bought them as a kid just because I like looking at the pictures because I really love video game art. But I kind of decided to go with Chell from Portal. And because I could remember I was working on this big painting of her and had GLaDOS in it and Wheatley and everything. But I was... Her outfit's pretty simple, and I kind of memorized that she had a tank top underneath the other tank top, and then there was the orange jacket, which I didn't exactly get right, but whatever, that's okay. Um, and I just kind of made her look kind of cute, or whatever. And I drew it, and I started to color it, and that's about as far as I got before. Oh yeah, my crayon kind of broke. I was very upset about that. Oh, my poor crayon. Now I don't have a gray. I guess I could always sharpen it down. Huh. No worries. Um, oh, as you can see here, I'm using a ruler um, to make the lines because I wanted to put the dots in the background um, from the laboratory when, you know, they're blue um, sometimes. But I used a ruler and then to make the circles, I just used something that was circular like a plate but I couldn't find a plate or a cup that was small enough. So I just had this little container lid and I used that. And later on I just used, I used um, a ring box <laughs> to kind of make the dials because it's just a lot easier if you have something that you can just... So it just, it's all straight, you know? It doesn't look horrible. It helps. Um, but I just wanted to say, I completely forgot what I was talking about. Oh, I went to Tomato's house and we had fun. And then, oh, what did I say after that? Uh, power went out. And then I was drawing this. And, and I didn't really get that far. So I just decided to finish it up on here. Oh, yes. And I was talking about how I couldn't memorize people's outfits perfectly. Anyways. So I pretty much covered everything I wanted to talk about, um, but still, nearby towns are, are down from from the the branches. I mean, like entire lanes are just covered in trees, and it, it, it's really bad. Um, I'm supposed to start my second student teaching placement 
um, with fifth grade, but that didn't start yet because um, the school doesn't have any power. So, I'm kind of just at home working on homework, finishing up this picture, and uh, hopefully it will be open tomorrow and I can get on in there and meet the kids and all that, and hopefully I'll have a good day, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I wanted to mention, you might have seen it like a few seconds ago, but I have this brush and it's a big, it's soft, a soft brush, but it's kind of big. And I use that to dust my pictures. I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but it's important to dust your crayon pictures because um, if a chunk, because usually there's a little, you know, flakes almost come off of the crayon when you're drawing with it and you can smear that around with your hand. So I like to dust all the flakes off so it doesn't ruin the picture. And I know I don't normally use black in my pictures, but Chell has like dark hair. So I figured, eh, I'll try to use black and just see what happens, you know. I don't normally do it, but uh, when you use black, you have to be extra careful about the flakes because they will smudge and it will make your white paper gray. So if you were using the white of the paper for your highlights, they're now gray and it looks dirty and not so nice. So you really have to be extra careful if you're using black. Um, sometimes the brush won't take off the flakes and then you have to kind of pick it off with your fingernail. But you should take the time to be aware of that so that, you know, it looks nice in the end and it doesn't smudge and ruin your picture after all your time that you spent on it. Um, thanks for watching my video and hopefully I'll have another one up soon. Bye guys, happy Halloween!